Fine matchup. Magical has to turn around. Tops and underneath the tower, taking a lot of damage. The fairy fire will keep him alive. Oh! And he sprays loser. The disrespect. He's gonna go back into the tower because of oh, course the lotus sword can be able to remove some of the shadow poison stacks. Yules after Yules, but it's not enough. Another two-minute timer. This time it's the Shatter Demon. Look at peace. Alright. Alright, Blizzy! <laughs> I mean, what is he gonna do, man? Oh, what are you gonna man. do? And that's where you call it. You don't want to get farmed in the fountain anymore by Thompson, because that's exactly what he's gonna do. Mind control, they're trying to finish this tier 2 tower. They've got it as well. The Arc Warden is inside the pit right now. They're still waiting for Rosha. How? What the? Arcane Rune. What is oh. this? Okay. It Dude, it spawns in 16 seconds. Does, uh, is, this an instant, is this an instant kill? Is this no actually, way, it's not an instant kill, but it's, it's going to be close. 30%. How many? How many, 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 many can you actually spawn? <laughs> I'll keep doing we, it. We need a counter. All right, oh Roshan, here we go, man, from 100 to oh. zero. <laughs> Get blasted! Holy shit! <laughs> oh. Oh. Burn, they need to clean up the second wave that's coming in right now. Miracle sends the corn in. Paparazzi still low on life, but Satanic, eight seconds and it's back up again. But there goes your creep wave. How many corns must die for the service of Team Liquid? Paparazzi runs forward. He's getting hit by the fire spirits. Doesn't really slow down his attack that much. They still want to beat through it, but the tower. Yeah, oh, he got the initiation. He got the real one. The Lincoln came way too late. A force are back. They have to get him in the fountain. Miracle. He has to buy back. No other choice. VG Gaming are in their home. And oh. must be repelled. The wise things. Both of his columns over towards Miracle. In fact, all three of them are trying to keep him zoned down. But Kuro, he gets the soul bind together. They don't break the Aegis of the Immortal. Where is the Nova? It actually got off. Doom can't go anywhere. Ori is trapped as well. Mind control keeping the chain control there. Miracle and they have enough. Miracle actually survives. Even with the three golems there, they don't care. Mass fire is coming no, from VG dead. Gaming. The They're clone. all flying back. They want to keep the pressure going. There's no miracle to fight this one out. He's just got the clone only. Mind control on a beast of life. VG Gaming. They want to force the issue, but it seems so damn bloody hard. Miracle is not for kill. Even in death, he fights it out. Ori wants to get back out again. We have the only one connect. He'll have to buy back. He didn't join himself forward on this one. Mind Control needs the attack, needs the opportunity. DY oh, has an ultra kill with the unstoppable. This is like the Burning Crusade. Mind Control, where is your attack? Where is your stun? The Yosef sends him back up again. Mind Control is now the one being attacked back at the base. But VG Gaming, they committed every single one. Take one tier three right now. You can just take that out. Smoke in, Nico baby. He needs that opening. Somebody give him the vision. He tries to go straight into Ramses. Looks like with the magic damage, they're gonna be able to pop him. Chris gonna be up next. Snowball buys him just a little bit of time here. Going on to limp, but obviously he's very unlikely to make it out. Maybe he is. Fly's gonna turn around. Oh, the fatal bots, and look at that damage. The support's just getting wiped out almost instantly in limp. He's taking a whole heap of damage here. Nico baby's gonna turn around. Not scared of GPK one bit. FNG coming back in. He bought back, he relocated back in and he's gonna die back with that, and Lip's gonna go down as well. He couldn't even save his core. He can't save Nico Baby either. He's kited to infinity crit, running literal circles around Alliance as Arteezy gets the ultra kill to wipe you Alliance. Know, at some point in time, you figure you, you probably practice a little less seriously, probably grind a little less. Nice initiation here from S4, trying to blow up this tusk as quick as possible, but on the high ground here, they do have the relocate coming in from the Sven, but it looks like they're not gonna help out with the rest of Alliance. They actually were Chasing somebody else. Now they come back in. S4 was he bailed out there? The Reaper side. It wasn't enough to be able to kill him or something there. But they do have the stun coming in from Nico Baby, putting in some work, trying to save by then magnetic field. And it looks like that was just enough. They get the damage onto the Sven. He goes down. And RTZ, he seems to reign supreme. Some of the EG members got a little bit low, but in the end, RTZ stood strong, healthy, and just wiped out Alliance. There's nobody alive. Nobody with buyback, pretty much. And. Uh, well, this is looking like a, a swifter end to game two here. Oh, Jake. super low. Can they catch him? Man should point away. He's trying to run. Looks like he's going to get out. Ramsey stumbles a little bit forward here. Nico, baby. They're going for Arteezy. He needs the vision, though. Do they have it? He sits in the magnetic field onto the side. Can they get on top of him with the next cross? They got him with enough damage here. That's going to be life number one. But they can't stick around. The Reaper Scythe is coming out. Then Death Prophet doesn't die to it just yet. Nico, baby, coming back in. S4 with the stomp. On to three. Hits the Tempest double as well. Nico, baby's going for it. He's going for Arteezy. But he doesn't have the damage. No, RTZ pumps it out too much. He gets the ultra kill. He gets the rampage. It's not over yet, though.
Gets a jump, finds the partner. Vision will not find a stun partner with no buyback. OG, they were really playing with fire. The Hex is out in the Terra Blade. Spectral Haunt looking for the frontline attack, but that's why Somnus goes into the back line. Oh, they Shaker. The BKB, they're into the back line. Shaker, he's bouncing around. Haunt shot, and she stuns all the way through. He has his gone. No buybacks available. And LGD done it. They're holding Anna. Hold him in place. Chalice will find the damage. F5 will die for No, really? Anna is actually running away, but it won't stop Arme from blinking up, looking for the tier 3 tower. Two players left alive for OG. They're the big ones, however. Thompson and Anna on the defense duty fortification. It delays as much as they possibly can. And now the jump out. Hex. The boy in the bubble, Thompson able to be protected once again. Chalice, very, very low on mana. They have a lot, but Arme, he'll change the life with Anna. Thompson needs to be pushed away, able to do so. FY jumps onto the illusion only, so the hookshot won't be able to connect, but Anna, he needs to retreat. There's so much damage. Anna, 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 down. Buyback is available. They still have not taken the mid racks. OG are just trying to delay LGD for the moment. Five heroes around. The bubble is there, protecting the melee racks. Anna, Sunder. By once begins the Sunder switches the life. Arme's back up to full health, but the damage from Thompson. It's good enough to kill up the bane. Five back is there. Thomas leaves forward. They just keep bunching them around, but they're still battling from inside the bubble. Pugna will come to the world, living LGD. They're going for the GG push. They're going after the tier four towers. OG, they have to hold the line. They have the numbers. Seven from the side with a dang on Arme, but no. Sunder is back up. It is there. Chalice will fall. They lose. The Enchantress, FY, pushing around Anna, he's so low, can they get the die back on him? You bet your Nelly they can, Arme still very, very low, the blast will kill him off, but buyback, LGD want this now, LGD, or can they, back enough, no they're not, Terra Blade, BT's forward, the ball is up, Thompson needs to defend, X Nova very visible, you've got a very, very low life, Mirana, but OG, they can't find the target, X Nova, he's got the grip, he's got the control, he's got the kill, Thompson is down, but ES is up, Where the echo slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dump. There's the play. Jirax, the savior of OG. Looking Sam for still more. Has his. It's getting nervous. They're the trying to go through. The there is a glyph. Thompson, Thompson, and Jirax. It sounds like a brand of victory. They'll come in through the mid, taking the tier three tower. Oh, they might be able They're to get the point back. LGD, my how the tables are turned. OG are going for the tier fours. Charles is there, defense. They will be up in just a second. The fortification, it buys time. The hex is there from Charles, but now here comes Anna. He's on the front lines. Jirax leaping forward. All he has to do is create space for OG to do it. To get to the grand final of TIA. Tip him up, poor tip him over. The lead comes forward. They've got the control. X Nova, he'll go down. This is the game. LGD have nothing left. OG have done it. It goes the distance. And it still doesn't go well. So what do you do? Oh, they're gonna go straight yep. to the force. Yep. Force everything out of them. Again, Nico Baby with those killer instincts that doesn't apply just to heroes that applies to closing out the game as well. Goes to the back lines, hits GH with the stun, turns into an undying real quickly, DKs them up before he gets the kill onto the Phoenix. Meanwhile, Weehaw's just being kited around while the rest of the team focuses on the tier fours. Throne is exposed. BKB is up on Nico Baby, jumps to the other side of things and completely ignores Miracle. Miracle gets out the magnetic field, trying to protect this throne, and it's very difficult to get inside of it. So Nico Baby, he's gonna have a hard time with this jumps to the other side but it's you can still see it the bubble perfectly matches the throne aoe and they're just wasting all their time finally the magnetic fields are down they're gonna focus on the throne they should be able to finish up and oh one more a little bit more they're jumping back and forth trying to finish it off the stun goes off on the morphling they might actually be able to hold this a little bit longer fng s4 with the second life he's swinging off the magnetic field it's gonna run out eventually but supernova it explodes on him another buyback nico baby he has to go for it it's all him all the diebacks he needs a oh, little bit more than the the Serious. He's got a second one coming up too. He's stunned up. They may just have all died back. He's actually gonna do it. Oh my god, the He's throne dead. stays alive. S4 spot back. He's keeping it. He's keeping it. He's hitting the throne, but it's healed up. He has to be He's dead. He's There's a dieback. They've all fought back. They've all died back. What? <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, maybe they're gonna go for it. They're making this rapid move from tier two. Let's see if they hit the tier three and immediately go for tier fours. They are. Okay. 
Yeah, the glyph goes down before they even hit tier 4 categories, so this is not bad, but still, 15 seconds for the Storm Sphere. This is going to be a close call. Everyone inside the bubble to increase that attack speed. Lay out the Tombstone nice and early. They're going to turn around and see if they can deal with FNG, who's trying to cut the wave right now. The range creep, he's actually trying to grab the rest of the creeps and take them out, but his tier 4 is already down, going for the throne. They do have the Meteor Hand with a little no. extra damage. Storm Sphere is coming back no. up, but they don't have a way to protect the Ancient. They don't have that same kind of bubble. No. This is going to be Miracle. Are the boys sticking it in for a Enigma. Oh my! Ah, actually, all right. So more often for those Tempest double spiel to split push and fight. Same thing. Oh, look, show off the mark there from RMN. Throwing S4 though. I mean, S4 sort of walked into this one. I mean, S4 is he going to get the Doom out in time? He will be able to get it off the dark here. Yeah, Nico baby turns up towards RMN, but again the Crimson gives him safe lip. Jumps out with the astral step. He'll live, but that's S4 gone. S4 does not have buyback. Another bit of control onto Lim. Lim, he's got no step for a couple of seconds. He turns with the remnant for the Whoa. damage from. Miracle, this 1k crit taking out the Arc Warden. Uh, sorry, the, 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 the Void Spray. The Void Spray's got buyback. He's back in. Where's that? Oh my god, FNG just got. It's a big static song. It's just for the three of them, Nico, baby. He's pretty lit through this one. He turns over towards the egg, but G Next down. gets the egg out in the final second. Alliance just get away with the vacuum from Mind Control. Drags it back in. Lift jumps out with the step. The stun. It catches onto Nico, baby. Catches onto FNG. That's a dieback on the Enchantress. Ultra kill for Miracle. They're going to look to start pushing into the tier fours. Alive, they're only down to three heroes to try and hold this. I don't know if they can. Miracle rampage. just gets the rampage. I mean, at this point, can they really turn it around? Lim could try to double. double rampage for Miracle. He may even just get the triple. And it's a triple. So, Miracle cleans it up. He says, this was never close. This was my show.